This is a brief introduction to reviewing content in Author at Reviewer. Uh, to begin with, you probably got to Author at Reviewer uh, by an email that you received, or perhaps you were given a web address, and with that you should have been given some library details. So I'm going to enter those library details now to my library, which is called Acme. Uh, I'm then going to enter my username, and you should have been provided this also. It's probably the name that uh, listed you in the news and events in the email as it came through. So I'm going to put that name in here and I'll be uh, text writer. Uh, following that we just need to enter our password and in this instance I'm leaving that blank however you should have been provided a password. Okay so we've logged into Author at Reviewer. Now the purpose of this program is it allows people to simultaneously concurrently review content. And so uh, it's, a, it's a very efficient way of uh, getting contributions from external reviewers and wrapping all of those changes up into our library of content. So what we have in the user interface here is across the top is a ribbon bar. Uh, now as a reviewer you won't have as many controls as an editor so we've kept it rather uh, clean and simple. In the top left we have a mark complete button. If you're happy with the content you're looking at you just need to click this button here mark complete to tell the editor that you're happy uh, with the content as you see it. Uh, we can start a new review but we're not going to worry about that during this session and then finally we have uh, discussion and an options button. So we'll look at the options button right now, it's the first thing to look at. And as you can see we have some options in here so I'm just going to check through the way that author is marking up changes, that's fine. I'm going to enter a uh, email address, let's say textwriter at acme.com and you can also select a uh, avatar if you so wish. Save those changes. Okay, now the, down the left hand side we have the documents, or as we call them books, currently in review. So if I expand out uh, the latest book here, we have a, a user guide, and you can see that we have a, a number in brackets. That indicates that a topic or topics under this uh, section here is actually in review, and the reviewed topics are indicated by Bold. Grayed out topics are not currently in review, they're either still in draft or in another release state such as uh, released and are not applicable to the review. So to get to the next topic in review just click the down arrow, the green arrow, where you can click on each topic as you wish, like so. And you've got a discussions button up here so I can move the discussion around this topic to the right hand side so I can see it uh, in a threaded fashion. Now you can see that we've got some changes which have been tracked currently and just clicking through the document it automatically cycles to those changes. So you can see the marked up changes and suggestions and comments that people have made around that. And you have some options if uh, some action is taking place already. You can agree, disagree. If you're an editor you can also accept and reject but we won't worry too much about that in this session. So I can apply it to this. and we are chatting in real time. So people will see changes immediately as they happen. So it's a, uh, it's a bit of a social networking site for reviewing content. And to uh, mark up some changes, it's a simple matter of uh, selecting text or placing the cursor. So if I select some text here, I have three options. I can suggest a replacement, I can suggest a deletion, or I could comment on that content. And so if I just do that now, So you can see that is added to the uh, to the list at the top here. We have that like so. So just clicking around, you can see it navigates the content. The other option inside Author it is to place the cursor with a single click, no selecting, and you get the addition sign like so. So I can suggest an insertion, and you can see that that's added here with the news thread uh, as well. Okay, so when I'm happy with this content, I simply mark complete. And that tells my reviewer that uh, I'm happy with this topic, it's no longer bolded, and um, I'm happy for the review to progress. And if we just click on the book icon, you can see that we now have updated status reports for the project manager on how this is going over time with graphs and pie charts, etc. loading in. Uh, as they're calculated.